All right, welcome back to Gabe's Review Show. Today we're talking about a very, a book that's very close to my heart. If you will, something I care about a lot. Very amazing book. That's Cat's Cradle by Kurt Vonnegut. Here's a bit of a, a backstory. I first read this book 2020, freshman year of high school, academic decathlon. This was the chosen book from the literature section that year. So good. Uh, left me shocked. I had read Slaughterhouse Five that same year in eighth grade. That was my first introduction to Vonnegut was Harrison Bergeron in seventh grade. I thought he was a cool guy, and then I read um, Slaughterhouse Five in eighth grade. It wasn't for me, but again, Slaughterhouse Five being most people's introduction to Vonnegut, I think they're they're shocked. Like you you, you don't comprehend what he's saying. You're not familiar with his style. So that's why like, they teach it in English classes, but that's because they have to teach around it, you know? Once, like if you started with other Vonnegut books and you got familiar with his style, and then you read Slaughterhouse Five, it would all make a lot more sense. So for me, I did that backwards. I started with Slaughterhouse Five, and then I read other books, and then I pieced together his style enough to understand Slaughterhouse Five in, in like, hindsight. Anyway, so this is the second Vonnegut book, third Vonnegut work, which I read, and it is one of my favorite books of all time. I gave out copies to like everyone I knew because I wanted them all to read this book. Most haven't. People don't listen to what I say. It's strange I have a review show. I don't know who let me do this. People don't listen to what I have to say. Anyway, Cat's Cradle, Kurt Vonnegut, really good. Um, the story is all one big allegory for the Cold War, and pretty much... This, like, really incredible super weapon, outstanding, which is called Ice-9, which freezes everything it touches. It's the equivalent of the nuclear bomb. And communism, its equivalent is this religion called Bakanonism. Bakanon being this guy who crashed land on this island and just told people to be, like, nice to each other. But he's saying, he's saying it. That's the bottom line. He's saying it instead of saying it, so... Anyway, Bakanon's super cool. Um, really cool guy. And then th this guy comes around named Jonah. Jonah's a name he chose, because I guess... I don't know. John wasn't cool enough for him. It was John, right? Anyway, he changed his name to Jonah, because he wants to be biblical. And he's the one who narrates the story. And he's kind of a boring guy with a boring life. And he's tracking down the scientist named Honecker. Honecker. Ooh, I shouldn't have said that. That's a horrible last name. Honecker. Anyway, tracking him down and trying to find a super weapon, and it leads him to the island in which Bakanon crash landed. And it's, just, it's so funny. It's a very funny book. It's Vonnegut. It's amazing, amazing style. Five stars. That This is the first five star book you're going to see. Not the last. I have a lot of pl plenty of five star books. But as I previously mentioned, I have three favorite authors Yukio Mishima and Kurt Vonnegut. And a third secret author, which I will tell you later. As of now, um, Cat's Cradle stands as possibly my favorite Vonnegut. I think its message might be the, the weakest. Not the weakest. I think other Vonnegut books tackle like greater like mental social themes. You know, free will versus like God-given rights and just like evolution and people's relation to like science and people's like opinions on literature um this one is very much cut and dry with it being all about the cold war but that doesn't mean it's simple and that's what makes it a very masterful work very much a classic um the same way slide house five is pretty much just about world war ii because the story is handed to him but he makes it something so different that's why it's a classic that's why it's so revered so Cat's Cradle does the same thing, but with something harder to define, which is the Cold War. So Jonah spends time on this island, and Ice-9 causes some havoc. And some very interesting introductions of the story. Some unique characters. Most of them represent a real person. Some of them are just, like, archetypes for other people. But overall, it's one of those books that leaves you confused, but, like, interested and it's funny. It's a good read. It's very much enjoyable. And that's always what you should look for in books. Enjoying reading them. Not just what you get after them. 
once you get three of them. So yeah, very good. Very good book.